get asked a lot, how do you get crisp lines when you want to do a geometric piece? So I'm going to tell you. So the first thing to do is just lay out your piece. This one is just a free form geometric. Lay out your design, put down your blue tape and just stand back and look at it and say, if it is balanced, if you kind of like it, but here's the thing you need to remember. These lines aren't going to be your final lines. This is going to give you your overall look. And then we're going to start with different sections and then you're going to have to pull up your tape and move to the other side of where you painted. Are you completely confused? Yes, I was too the first time, but I'm going to walk you through this. Are we going to just paint? No, we are not just going to paint. Here's the trick. All right. Shh, don't tell anybody. Here's the trick to getting the really crisp lines. It's called the trick of all tricks. The best product ever. Mod Podge. Yes, we're bringing back Mod Podge. Any kind of Mod Podge will work. We're going to pour a little bit in a cup. We're going to take a little brush. Here's what we're going to do. Where this line is, cover right over it. Okay. I know you're like, Sue, what are you doing? What are you doing? Trust me. Trust me, people. I might be crazy. Sometimes I'm crazy like a fox. All right, now that all of these are dry, we can go in and start painting. I want really solid colors today, so I'm using Dixie Bell Caviar. And I'm digging right into these areas. Because we put the barrier layer down, we're going to get a nice crisp edge. I do like to push my brush in away from the edge, just to be super careful. I don't dig it this way. Definitely kind of pulling it in from the sides there. I got this feeling like it's starting now, starting now. I feel adventurous with you. Nothing that can hold us back, hold us back. We can do what we want to do. Cause we got all the time in the world for better. Once you've got your paint on, go ahead and just go over it one more time with your brush. With the Dixie Bell paint, you can really get a nice, smooth, smooth finish. Okay. Don't try to put it on heavy the first time. Just let it go on. You're going to need two coats. Um, let it go on a light coat and then another light coat. It's better than trying to do it all in one thick coat because it can get gooey, drippy. We don't want that. Gooey and drippy. Bad, bad gooey and drippy. All right, so we've put two coats on. It's the moment of truth. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Let's pull this off. Let's see if I'm full of it. Okay. All right. Looking good. I see a tiny little bit of bleed through right at the top. Sometimes that can happen right at the edges. Look at that line. It is crisp. It is clean. It is beautiful. Look at that. All right. Now save your tape. All right. Don't wad it up because we're going to use it again. We're going to use the same thing again. We got all the time in the world for better or worse. We should stay together. So let's stay young and in love. All right, kids. So we've painted the black and we've picked up the tape and we've moved it to the edge of where we painted. Does that make sense? So now we're ready for color number two. Oh, look. And guess what color it's going to be? Close. Sometimes I wonder where you came from. You are special. Yeah, you're special. Everything about you is so beautiful. I am all yours. If you let me stay, you're the one who gives my life color. There is no another. With your hand in mine, let me go by your. Oh, I like that. It's the moment of truth. We're going to take these off, see what kind of lines we get. You ready? Okay. 
I'm not nervous much. <laughs> I'm not live. I can always go back and re-edit this thing. All right, let's go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Nope. Looking good. So let's see what happened where our colors overlapped. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Pam, look at that. How beautiful is that? I want to stay in the sunlight. I want to wake up with you by my side. Without you, there is no tomorrow. We could be in for the best. All right, so now we have these lines nice and crisp. Super crisp. Crisp like potato chip crisp or fried chicken crisp. Maybe I'm hungry. <laughs> Maybe I should eat lunch. Anyway, we've got these lines, and now I'm gonna add another little element. We added a few different colors. We've got the purple, we've got lighter purple. Let's see if you can see this in the light, more of a mulberry color. But this client, this client, has asked for metallic gold leaf. Yes, gold leaf. I think this is really gonna take it to the next level, and I wanna show you how I'm gonna do it. Oh, 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 oh,